Hey guys, Henry here from UniqueDesigns.net and I want to share with you today um, my thoughts about the selling process and where I struggled a little bit um, with selling to my audience and to my market. I always had this, this uh, fear of selling or closing the deal, so to speak, and uh, it hurt me tremendously because I left so much money on the table and it really it, it, it hurt financially. And so I want to share with you kind of how I've helped myself get out of that rut, look at selling a lot differently, and how it helped me grow my business this year six times as big as it was last year. So let me, let me start out by saying you should not be afraid to sell. Think of it this way. Tony Robbins always talks about you know the state of mind that you're in and the mental state or the psychological state that you're in uh, will determine whether or not you're going to be successful. So the minute I changed my tune and changed my the way I looked at selling, things started to get a lot better. Now let me show you how I did that. So basically what I did was I looked at it as I shouldn't be afraid of this. My goal here is to help the other person on the other side with their problem and and get to a solution, help them solve a problem and, and get them what they need and what they want in the shortest amount shortest amount of time possible. And when I started to think about selling as helping and serving, everything started to change. I started to get more sales. I didn't focus on the money so much. Everybody's like so focused on the money nowadays. Can I make this? Can I make that? You know one of my mentors, Russell Brunson, said, money's just there to keep score, man. You know, don't focus on the money so much. Focus on helping and serving other people and the money will back you up. The money will follow. And so once I changed my tune and started to uh, really start to think that way and present myself that way, the money started to come. And it was crazy. Like, there was so much work I didn't even know what to do with it. And within two months, I had to hire three more designers. I had to hire a, a, a call support team. Uh, I had to hire a programmer. It was amazing how just changing my state of mind helped me increase my sales. You know, it, it wasn't so much about the marketing and the, and, the, and, the, and the design and the promotions and what am I doing here, what am I doing? It was the minute I, I changed my tune, my thought process, everything started to get better. So I'd have you consider changing your mindset when it comes to selling because when you focus on helping and serving the other, other person, I know I talk a lot with my hands, I'm Italian, what do you expect? Uh, it, you'll start to see a lot of change and for the better, of course. So what I started to do was focus on selling and basically uh, taught myself the psychology of se selling and, and and I wasn't, once I became educated more about it, I was less afraid of it. And it helped me tremendously with my clients in, in helping and serving them. So what did I study? You know, what did I do to help me um, get over this fear, right? So I began to study the art of asking questions and asking the right questions. Because when you ask the right questions, you get the right answers and then that turns into a sale. So... One of my coaches, uh, Charlie Posnick, funny enough, um, I asked him the one day, you know, what are some great questions that you ask your clients, you know, before your, or your prospects, I should say, uh, before you close a, close a deal? And he said, Henry, I ask a very simple question. What do you need help with? What do you need help with? Isn't that a very simple question? And so many people forget. You know, they're so focused on the sale. They're so focused on making money. They forget about the, real, the, the simplest question. What do you need help with? Let me see if what I have, my skill set, my superpower, quote unquote, can help you solve that problem and solve that need. And if it does, it's a home run. So never forget that question. You know, how can I help you? What do you need help with? What are some of the challenges that you're going through right now that we can address, we can solve, and we can get you back on the right path? Because again, remember, at the end of the day, nobody gives a crap about what you're doing 
and anything else. All they're thinking about is how can you help me solve my problem? And at the end, and that's it. So if you can focus on that, change your mindset, looking at, looking at the customer or the prospect as helping and serving and solving problems, the money will come, I promise you, I promise you. I mean, it, this year has been an amazing year thanks to the help of a, a lot of, of, of people way smarter than me. I'll be honest with you, when I started to surround myself with the right people, everything started to change, everything. Personally, professionally, it was crazy. So, I hope this little video serves you well. Again, this is Henry from UniqueDesigns.net. I'm here to help, I'm here to serve. If there's anything you need, reach out, email me, follow me on Instagram at unique underscore designs with a Z, and I'd be, I'd be happy to help you. Have a great day, and uh, look, forward to, look forward to serving you soon. Take care.